There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Today's going to be a really quick tutorial by FirstSlicks.com and this also is just a company to our PG show. I want to show you three different lace wigs and I'll tell you which one is my favorite. I mean, I like all of them. I like lace fronts. I like 360s. I like full lace wigs. Okay, there is one that I really don't care for too much, which is the full lace. Not the glueless one, but just the full lace where there's no elastic. You have to just basically adhere it from the front to the back. Those are the ones that I'm not like too fond of, but there's always ways to work around that. You can sew in combs, you can sew in an elastic band, but to alleviate all those worries, there's the glueless full lace. That one is my number one choice out of all the lace wig family. The first one that I have here is the glueless full lace, and this is from my first wigs. I'll definitely link it below. This is 20 inches. It's a natural hair color. It is a body wave, um, but when I washed this unit, it was so wavy and just, I'm not really sure what their version of body wave is, but it's the best version that I've seen because I have gotten a lot of body wave wigs, and honey, they were missing all of the body and all of the waves. So I did brush the waves out of it because I was just pre-plucking the hairline. Now the little panel here has a lot of stretch to it and this is because you can part a glueless full lace wig anywhere in the unit. It also has more lace options up here. In the back it also has like the standard you know combs. You don't have to adhere it down. You may want to adhere it down in the front that way you can pull it up in a high ponytail or just do whatever you want to do. I like the glueless full lace wigs the most because it gives me the most option and I'm able to part it anywhere. So I do like to part them. I do like to put them in braids. I do like to put them in cornrows. And when I am wearing a glueless full lace wig, I have all of those options. The next one is the lace frontal. This is also from my first wig. This is just like the blonde bonnet, bonnet, the blonde, the blonde <laughs> bob that I have. This is their lace front. And you do get a lot of parting right here all around, which is great. And the back may look the same, but you're not going to be able to part back here because this is actually made up of tracks. So all of these little ripples that you see in the cap are actually the tracks sewn on the outer portion of the unit. However, it still gives you great options because if you can work around that girl, you know what I'm saying? These are the tracks and the tracks will start kind of like mid back here in most of the units, depending on how far back the parting space is. This is where some of the tracks are. So you're kind of limited to parting all the way back, but you can still achieve like a ponytail, or a bun, depending on where you place it at, or a braid, depending on how you do it. Lace fronts are the most affordable units, but they're also probably like the easiest for beginners. And then the last one that I'm gonna show you is a 360 lace frontal. So a 360 lace frontal, you see, does have the tracks here in the middle as well, but there's also like a lot of parting space in the top part. And then in the back right here, you will see there is also some lace which gives you the option into like a high bun or a high ponytail. 360s I would think are like, kind of like a wannabe of a full lace, but cheaper. So you have those three and then you have the full lace, which is the one that you have to put in all the work. If I had to choose between the three, I would definitely choose a glueless full lace wig. They definitely are a little bit more pricier and that's because you get all these options. You know, part it anywhere you want to part it, you know, braid it, you can do a lot more things with it. If you don't want to spend more money on just the parting alone, you can definitely do like a 360 or to me, you could do like a lace frontal. I treat a 360 the same way I treat a lace frontal. I treat a lace frontal the same way I treat a 360 because to me, they're basically the same you're just getting extra lace in the back. So as I said, this is 20 inches in length and it is a glueless full lace wig. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace off of this. Now I did do some customization to this unit. I went ahead and I bleached the knots and I also pre-plucked just a little bit of it in the front. I just wanted to make it a little bit more natural looking for me. 
If you're wondering about the headscarf that I'm rocking today, this is from Kishi Culture. They do sell Afrocentric type of accessories. They will have some bonnets on their website really soon, but she hooked me up with some really nice head wraps and honeys. This is the real deal. Like this is the real fabric. That is why it's so puffy and such because I can do like all types of things with this. Hello.
guys, so here goes one of my favorite styles to do with a wig, um, especially with a full lace wig. Look, hunters, bam. You could do all that in the back. It lays so nice and flat. Like this hair is gorgeous. It said 20 inches, but honeys, this is like longer than 20 inches. My first wig, you lied. This is like 22. I'm not complaining. I like it. They did a really good hair. They, got, they did a really good job with the hairline. Like, seriously, I didn't really have to do much to it. Listen, y'all see, I did not even cut no baby hairs up in this joint except for right here, okay? I didn't even cut no baby hairs, all right? You know, I just pushed some of the hairs down and did like that. Made it look just as natural as possible. The lace is really nice. That's the one thing that helps a lot. When the lace is like the perfect color, then you like, yeah. So the lace is the perfect color um, and everything. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to be like fighting with it and being like, oh my God, I gotta just keep on doing baby hairs. Cause I don't really like to do the baby hairs all the time. I think it gets old, you know what I'm saying? But yes two corn rows or dutch braids whatever y'all want to call them i like this this is the first one i have ever done like this like two full corn rows on any lace wig like for real i it's just that this hair just lays so nice and smooth but you see when i was hot combing how it came out it wasn't sleek like silky silky straight it had like some texture to it that's what i like i don't really like my wigs to be sleek because when they're super sleek, it's just, they, they just remind me of thinness. Thinness at its best. So, we are going to move on to the next style. I'm not going to do like a whole bunch of styles. I just wanted to show you guys why I like full lace wigs versus lace fronts and 360s. Because you can do stuff like this. And doesn't this look natural? Like, y'all could not tell me that this is not my hair. Like, for real, y'all be like, girl, is that a... Oh, you got some nice hair. I'll be like, girl, thank you, hunties. Thank you. Okay, you guys, so as you've seen, I did put it in a side ponytail, a ponytail, a bun, two Dutch braids, but this is the options that you could do with a full lace, glueless full lace. And you could also do this with a 360. I love, 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 love doing a glueless full lace wig. Like these are my favorites, okay? I think like the favorite style for today was the two braids. That was like my favorite. I love that the most. Um, the hair though, this hair is absolutely gorgeous, like for real. But the hair is so pretty and just like, I love the texture of it because it's not all silky, straight, sleek. Okay, so like this is not cornrows, but if you can't cornrow, you can always like take the hair and twist it like so, like I'm doing right here. <laughs> This is like if you can't cornrow. They're not gonna be as tight, but they'll be out the way. This is just another cute style that I like to rock, you know. The video was not too long for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. I really like this wig. It likes, looks really cute. I like the way the edges came out like unteased. Yes, it came out really, really cute. Um, 
But yes, you could definitely check out my first wigs. I will post all of the information below for you guys. And let me know what you think. What is your favorite lace wig? Is it a 360, a lace frontal, a glueless full lace, or a full lace that you have to adhere? Let me know which one is you guys' favorites and in the comment section below. And on that note, do you think my edges are snatched? What wig? Love you guys. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumb this video up, and I'll see you guys on a soon to come video. Bye.